If you like what you see, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you want to know when a new video comes up, turn on your notifications. Hey everyone, welcome back to Dude's Tiny House Truck Travels. And today's list of 10 things is the 10 things I enjoy most about living in my tiny house. Now this was an idea that a woman called Philippa Davidson gave me. Philippa is a member of my Facebook group and I really liked this idea and thought you guys might like it too. So sit back and have a look at the things that make living in this tiny house amazing. It's always warm. <laughs> I know that's probably not um, something you guys might find uh, amazing, but I do. I spent seven years living in camper vans and buses that just did not have proper insulation, and I was cold. I was cold for seven whole years. <laughs> it didn't matter whether I had a diesel heater or a gas heater or whatever in the truck in the in the vans. I was always cold. So this tiny home is not cold <laughs> for two reasons. It's double glazed safety glass and it's got insulation. So it's insulated to to the same degree as a normal house would be. But the most important thing. <laughs> is this little thing in the corner here that you can see that is my gorgeous little flick fireplace made for me by my wonderful friend, friend Raul in Kinloch he oh, sorry he doesn't <laughs> send out of New Zealand but if you if you want to know more about them then talk to me and I um, if you're in New Zealand he can he can uh, maybe provide you with one but that time I say to Raoul quite often I think I built this tiny house so I could have somewhere to put your fire <laughs> one of the best things about living in a tiny house is if you don't like what's going on around you you can move I quite often get people either parking really really close or uh, parking right behind my back window or right beside my French doors <laughs> sorry you can see me looking out there <laughs> there's nobody parked next to me at the moment and it really impinges on my privacy uh, so I have the option to move if I don't think that they're going to move in a hurry then I can move myself so that's another reason why I love living in the tiny house that I can move the other one is noise factor sometimes you'll get somebody that comes and parks next to you that loves playing loud music <laughs> now I'm not against music in any way but the places that I park are usually places of natural beauty and most people come there to enjoy the natural beauty but some people come to listen to their music and if I don't like the music that they're playing or it just gets too much then I can drive away. <laughs> One of the most important reasons that I love living in my tiny house truck and the reason why I put my tiny house actually on a truck was that I can park in some very amazing places. We're very lucky in New Zealand to have a lot of places that are beautiful and speak to your soul when you park there when you pull up at an amazing space and you think oh my goodness this is so cool I love this spot and my back window's got an amazing view it makes me happy it it really does it just makes me incredibly happy to be in these spaces when I was younger before I bought my first camper van eight years ago I spent a lot of time in one place it was beautiful and it was very good for my health and my soul and it gave me a chance to bring my son up in a place that was really good for him as well but I hadn't actually seen much of my country I'd been overseas twice lived in Australia and couldn't really say I'd seen much of my country so when I bought my first camper van 
<laughs> I started to discover this amazing country that I live in. So I've had, it, it means that I've had the opportunity to go to places that I wouldn't normally go. And this is what I say to people when they ask me, why do you live the lifestyle that you live? I've seen parts of New Zealand that a lot of people have never gone to. And the reason I've gone there is because it has a freedom camping spot there. And I get there and I think, oh my goodness, <laughs> isn't this place stunning? <laughs> when I was talking to my builder about what I wanted in my home and I was coming up with designs and features in the tiny home that I wanted, the one of the biggest things was there is nowhere to entertain people in my house when I say entertain I don't mean I have big parties or anything like that but just being able to have a space for people to come in and sit down and spend some time with you and have a coffee and you know just just sit and relax in, in, in nice surroundings my camper vans that I owned previously all had very small um what I call living spaces so I would have a little couch uh, and there wouldn't be room for anybody else but me so in New Zealand the, we have a Māori word which is manakitanga and it's it means welcoming people and, and making them feel comfortable is one of the meanings for it and I said to my build there's no manakitanga in my vans I want manakitanga please <laughs> So I'm very lucky to have got two different spaces or one big space with two seating areas in it. I've had up to 12 people in this in this truck, which I could never have done. I was lucky if I could fit one person in my, in my van. So I'm very happy to be able to have people come into this space, spend some time with me and enjoy it as much as I do. One of the wonderful things about this tiny home is that the level of comfort I've got in this tiny house is 10 times more than what I've ever had in my camper vans. I've got space to move around, I've got a very comfortable seating area, I've got a couch that I can lay down on if I'm sick of sitting up and reading my book or looking at that beautiful view and I just feel a level of comfort that I haven't had for seven years of living in camper vans. I was okay, I was happy in them, it was it was okay but it wasn't until I, I built this tiny home and moved into it that I realised that I had been putting up with a lot of things that I didn't actually need to put up with. So the room to move around, the room to, to um, have different sort of seating available. So if I want to lie down, I can. If I want to sit up and read, I can. Have you ever got to a friend's place and had to go in and sleep in a bed that you didn't really like and had a really bad night's sleep because you just weren't used to the space, couldn't find the toilet, <laughs> had to lug all your gear inside, you know, all of that sort of stuff. Or did, have you, you know, been out of town and had to go to a motel where the neighbours were noisy or the um, cleanliness left a lot to be desired? Well, I never have to worry about any of that because I take my bed with me wherever I go. So the, one of the reasons that I have picked this as my, uh, in, in, my list of, in my list of the 10 top things I like about my tiny home is I get to take my bed with me just about wherever I go. So it's not very often I don't take my truck. I normally uh, try and plan things in advance so I can take my truck with me. And it means that I have my own bed so I sleep better. <laughs> Although the tiny house on the truck cost me a lot of money originally, I save an awful lot of money on things like rates and um, people to mow the lawns and... Um, power charges and <laughs> all of those things that everyday life seem to make you have to go and live a life that you don't really want to live. So my life is a lot simpler because of that. 
So I have I have things that cost me money because I live in a tiny house, but they are a lot less than if I lived in a house. I've got gas bottle refills, which I probably do once every four months, $30. Uh, all my electricity comes from solar, so I don't have to do that. Uh, I don't pay rates. I do pay road user charges, so when I drive the truck, uh, when you have a big vehicle like this, when you drive on our roads, every time you use up a kilometre, you have to <laughs> you have to pay what's called road user charges. So that's part of being in a big vehicle on the road. But I don't drive as much as I used to because this tiny house is so cold <laughs> and so comfortable and, and such a neat place to live and I get to go to amazing places. I stay at them for longer. So I don't use much diesel and I don't use up a lot of road user charges so I would probably fill my tank maybe once a month and that cost me about a hundred dollars uh road user charges it's about I don't know exactly I don't really look at how much it cost me but about three or four three or four hundred dollars for a for five thousand kilometers and I probably do that once every six months yeah six months so <laughs> it's a very cheap way to live so it's another reason why i live in a tiny house another reason that i love living in my tiny house is it it makes me stop and think about what i buy before i buy it so i am not a big consumer of goods i think very long and hard before i buy something I try and buy something that is quality rather than more of things. So I think before I buy something, is it going to have more than one use? So I don't buy a toaster. I haven't got a toaster because it's only got one use. But my oven, I can bake with it, I can cook a roast in it, and I can toast my... my um, my toast in the morning so it has more than one use my clothes are only there if I wear them so every season when I'm clearing out my wardrobe to swap clothes over because it's got cold so I need to get my winter stuff out or whatever then I look at that a piece of clothing before I put away did I wear this this year if I didn't out it goes it might be because I've got bigger <laughs> And I can't fit it anymore, even though I love it. It doesn't just doesn't suit, or it doesn't suit my lifestyle anymore. I buy a lot of secondhand clothes. I go to op shops a lot and try and use things that have been used before. Uh, and that way, if it doesn't fit anymore or it isn't part of my lifestyle anymore, then it's easy enough to get rid of it because if I need it again, I can always go and buy another one at an op shop. <laughs> Most tiny houses in New Zealand do not travel around the country like I do. Most of them are on trailers, but they are towed to a section, a piece of land, and that's where they live. My tiny house moves around and it's in public spaces. So that means that a lot of people get to see it. So this item on my list of top 10 things is cool people who come to, to look at my tiny house and I've met some really cool people on the road I must admit and they've I've met them because they've come to look at my tiny house so that is one of the top 10 reasons why I love living in my tiny house is because of the cool people that have come over to say hello we love your tiny house and you're one of those people because you've actually come to look at my tiny house but through my view on a video. I hope you enjoyed that video if you did please make sure to share with all your friends and subscribe to the channel because there'll be more up soon.